so now I'm coming to the gathering. So after the, the ATIS um, presentation, the team is taking the lead in the age of digital disruption and AI. Uh, and you see the running robots. And uh, I think two years ago, we had two, uh, a human and a robot uh, touching fingers. Uh, last year, they were shaking hands, and now the robots are running. So I think it's uh, fair to say that AI is hot. Digital disruption is also hot, not always uh, for the good reasons. Um, because, okay, the, the industry is being disrupted, and uh, it's not only, only your direct competitor who is taking your business. It's in a lot of cases other players like the over-the-top players, the Googles, the Facebooks, the, the Netflix. Uh, I think voice and messaging is already uh, partly or in some countries totally over the top. Video uh, could follow. Millennials are cutting the cable and, and are no longer taking uh, video services in some cases. And they just want a, a big uh, gigabit pipe. Uh, but telcos, and that's the good news, have uh, also unique selling pr uh, propositions. There is a proximity with the customers, uh, which Facebook and Google uh, not have uh, at the same level yet. So during this uh, gathering, we will discuss in some of the groups the future scenarios of the telco. Uh, what is now the possible outcome of the industry? And it can be different from, from one operator to another. It's probably different from a very small operator uh, standalone than a global player uh, like Telefonica or DT. Uh, but uh, at least we should know what, what the options are and what we need to do in order to, uh, to make sure that uh, we end up where we want to uh, end up uh, uh, eventually. So this was a mini survey we did uh, last uh, Friday and uh, we got quite a lot of responses and so when we ask, uh, okay, where do you think that disruption and digital transformation will bring you? You see that uh, most of the people, but I think one and two are close, uh, going, and we didn't call it uh, smart digital pipe uh, for a reason, because uh, it has a negative connotation. Uh, but we, uh, we gave the uh, explanation, okay, it's uh, being uh, a main, uh, mainly an infrastructure provider, giving access to other players via APIs, and still having a basic set of uh, TV uh, and uh, voice uh, and other services. But, but a lot of services would be offered by other players. Then there is the scenario where you do everything and you say uh, everything is mine and uh, the OTTs, uh, uh, we com uh, compete with them uh, head to head. Uh, that's the scenario which is uh, number two. And then you see some people think it's going to be uh, a, a split, only a service player and a, and a network player. And TDC is also here and they are doing this as a strategy. They are splitting up the, co the, the company uh, voluntarily, by the way, some, some people or some operators have to do it forced by regulation internally, but TDC will do it uh, from the shareholder uh, uh, point of view in a, in a, a, a um, Netco and a, and a Surfco or, a, or an Opco. And then obviously nobody wants to become a, a dumb pipe, uh, that's, that's clear. So now just going back to this one, because it's, I think it's also important to see that uh, we're on a, a good uh, track. Uh, you see that uh, this is, by the way, the, um, the number of, of, I think, uh, Tuesday. In the meantime, I think it's 235 uh, people who have regi registered for the event. So we can say that uh, we will be very successful and uh, we have a good growth uh, uh, of participation uh, during, this, uh, during this event. Now, just introducing the topic uh, of AI. I think uh, AI is very hot, uh, as you all know. Um, you, these are just two things from the last seven days. You had the announcement of the MIT that they will invest uh, one billion in, uh, in education uh, on AI. I think most of you have seen the impressive video of uh, the Atlas uh, robot uh, jumping around in, uh, uh, in the factory. Uh, so this is really becoming, uh, I would say, um, very, very uh, advanced. You have uh, optimists and you have pessimists on AI. Uh, you have doom and gloom scenarios. Have, and then you have the, the believers and even the people, which I don't think is necessarily is a good thing, uh, that think that uh, the robots will take over and that singularity will come uh, uh, in 2040 or something uh, like, like Ray Kurzweil. 
who is uh, a believer that uh, robots are advancing at a, at a tremendous speed. And Zuckerberg is also quite a believer in, in AI and is uh, seeing mainly the opportunities. Uh, so what are the topics for discussion and uh, reflection during this uh, ga gathering? I think it's important to take a step back and to see where is our industry going and also where do we want uh, our industry to go. We don't have to undergo uh, the future, we can make it happen. But in order to do that, you, we need to know uh, what, we, uh, what we want basically and what is the desired scenario uh, and what we need to do in order to get there. So we will also have uh, uh, discussions on that uh, after the common session already in, in some of the groups. What will be the impact of, the, of AI? Are you an optimist, a pessimist? Uh, what will be the impact on the telco? And then, like I said, we would also like to, uh, to reflect uh, or to have you reflect upon possible projects of collab collaboration if you see uh, the need for it. So enjoy the gathering, I would say, uh, and uh, thanks again for being here. And uh, let's take the lead in uh, the age of digital disruption and AI. And I already want also to thank uh, all of our sponsors, the diamond sponsor Huawei, uh, the other sponsors, uh, and also the, the support of NOSH uh, and of Altis, the, the local players.